To perform a basic quick strike, tap the strike button. Land enough of these and your opponent will be temporarily stunned. A strong strike knocks your opponent down, but will leave you vulnerable if it's blocked. Press the grapple and strike buttons together. Holding the up direction while pressing the grapple and strike buttons will perform an alternative strong strike move. Holding the down direction while pressing the grapple and strike buttons will produce a dash attack. Dash attacks will stun an opponent from a long distance, but they will leave you vulnerable if they're blocked. Now let's try a quick grapple. Quickly tap and release the grapple button. Now, with your opponent in your grasp, you have a couple of different options. Press the grapple button again to execute a quick grapple move. Optionally, you can hold any direction while pressing the grapple button to perform up to five different moves. You can also drag your opponent around the ring. Press left to drag them to the ropes and throw them out. While in this state, you can whip your opponent across the ring. Press the strike button to whip them into the ropes. Then, before they run back to you, press the grapple button to execute an Irish whip move. Now, let's try a strong grapple. Strong grapples take longer to execute, but do much more damage. Press the grapple button again, but this time, don't just tap it. Press and hold it down until your wrestler successfully grapples your opponent. Now, press the grapple button again, optionally along with any direction, to perform a strong grapple move. When it comes to defense, you have several options. If an opponent is trying to strike you, simply hold the direction away from them. In this example, the opponent is to the right of your wrestler, so when they try to strike, press and hold left on your controller. If an opponent is trying to grapple you, you can perform a quick strike by tapping the strike button. You can also lock up with them by pressing the grapple button. This will put you into a best of three button mashing contest. Double pressing toward your opponent dashes forward. This can surprise your opponent and leave them open for attacks. Double pressing toward your opponent dashes forward. This can surprise your opponent and leave them open for attacks. Double tapping away from your opponent dashes backwards. This is a good way to defend both grapples and strikes. To start running, press and hold left or right, then press the grapple and strike button simultaneously. While running, press grapple or strike to perform a running move. While running, press grapple or strike to perform a running move. When your opponent is on the ground, you have several options. Press the strike button to perform a quick down strike move. While you're near an opponent's head, press grapple to pick them up. Optionally, while you're near your opponent's head, press grapple and strike together to execute a stronger down strike move. Pressing grapple and strike together while you're near an opponent's feet will perform a submission move. If you're near your opponent's midsection or feet and press the grapple button, you will attempt a pinfall. Just know that certain match types will not allow you to attempt a pin. 
To climb the top rope, you must press the controller toward the corner and press the grapple and strike button simultaneously. For example, to climb the top left turnbuckle, walk towards it. Once you're next to it, press and hold up and left on the controller and then press the strike and grapple buttons together. Once you're on the top rope, press strike or grapple to perform a top rope move. To get out of the ring, walk over to the ropes and double press towards them. For instance, to walk to the left ropes, quickly press left left on the controller. To get back into the ring, double press the direction towards the ring. For this example, quickly press right right. If there's a weapon around, stand over it and press grapple and strike together to pick it up. With the weapon in hand, you can press either button again to attack your opponent. Try pressing the grapple button. Just one final note regarding power-ups. Power-ups appear at certain times in a match. Not only do these provide perks, they can also be used strategically. For instance, if you have at least one power-up available, you can get out of a submission or pin attempt even if you have zero energy. However, this sacrifices all of your power-ups. Also, if you have any power-ups while down on the mat, you can press the Change Focus button to sacrifice one power-up and get up immediately. Finally, in certain matches like one-on-one, -on -one, you can steal a power-up from your opponent by performing a strong grapple. In other matches like a battle royal, attempting or interrupting an elimination will steal the power-up.